Hello. I'd like to make a video about rotating mass or motorcycle wheel weight um, and wheel friction. Um, this is specific to my 2002 Harley Sportster but could be applied to all motorcycles. Um, specifically I would like to talk about uh, the wheels that I have laced up and put these spoked wheels uh, on my 2002 R Harley Sportster. This bike originally came with a dual disc front end and um, 13 spoke Harley mags like are on the front of my 2000 FXD here on the front and the rear. Those mags were on this 2002 Sportster. Uh, the, the, I had silver ones that came on my on this uh, 1998 mags. They weigh 18 pounds each. And I had the, now that's a nine spoke there, an older nine spoke. But and these are some. Uh, I laced these wheels up also for my uh, my 2000 Super Glide. Um, this is a Sun aluminum rim. Um, it's satin, and this is a DID, and that's a 17 inch, and this is a DID, older DID aluminum rim for the front wheel of my Super Glide, which has sealed bearings in it, as opposed to these older, um, like this wheel, I can't get it out right now, but it has a Timken bearing. Here, I can show you. That's a seal bearing. Here's Timken bearing. Timken bearings in there. Um, so, uh, this 2002 came with a dual disc front end. That um, to, in 2000 they changed the bearings, the wheel bearings. Um, this 2000 was the first year that they put the sealed bearings in the Harley wheels front end. They changed a lot around when they did that. From that to uh, this older style, 1999 and before Timken bearing. So in order to put the Timken bearings uh, hubs in this uh, 2002, I had to switch the front end over. Uh, the lower legs. I, I left the tubes in it the same, but um, the lower legs. And when I did that, you had to change caliper because it came with a different caliper. You can get adapters and use the newer style caliper, which is a nicer caliper. Um, it's uh, It's got uh, four pistons in it as opposed to these older ones only have two. Um, but for drag racing, uh, and, and more sport bike, I was just, um, I'm, I'm staying with the older calipers, even they, though they aren't uh, as well received, and I don't think they work as well. But to get the Timken bearings, because I, I believe, and most people think that they uh, would suggest that they uh, work better. They, if you put them on a stand and rotate them, you'll see that they continue rotating quite a bit longer than the sealed bearing. The sealed bearing seems to be jammed up, kind of, is all I can say, is it, it, it doesn't rotate as well. So I wanted the wheels to rotate better, so I, I went to the 1999 and prior lower legs caliper. Uh, it's got a different axle, different hub. I bought this front hub is a custom chrome hub. It's a smaller hub than a Harley hub. It's smaller diameter around. Um, laced up a Akron. 19 inch rim um, to it and it's got a different axle different spacers uh, from the 2000 up sealed bearing but with that since I went from dual disc to single disc only one rotor I, I found these lightweight custom rotors uh, European three and a half pounds as opposed to almost 4.8 pounds with the Harley rotor uh, and since I dropped one of the rotors, I gained about six pounds there going to the single disc front end. The wheel 
This wheel weighs 18 pounds, the mag, 13 spoke mag. This wheel weighs 11 pounds with the aluminum rim and the spokes. So I gained about uh, seven pounds there. I dropped a rotor. Um, so I gained about another five pounds, seven, 12 pounds probably. And I gained about seven pounds in the rear wheel too. So I used again one of the custom rotors. Um, European, three and a half pounds. And I laced a 16 inch by three inch uh, rim that I got off from a, a, a it's a bare rim. Um, it came off from Excelsior Henderson. A, in 1999, I found a pair of Excelsior Henderson brand new wheels that I took uh, and I, I cut the spokes off and I threw away the, uh, the, um, uh, the hub and I just used the rims, the aluminum rims, they're chromed aluminum rims. I used the front one on this rear of this bike, which is three inch. I used the three and a half inch on my uh, 1998 Sportster here. Um, the that was the rear rim on the Excelsior Henderson and I dropped probably oh I would say six pounds with the rotor maybe seven pounds total for rotating mass wheel weight I dropped about uh, oh I would say uh, uh, 20 pounds off the wheel weight of this bike I had to wipe some grease off my finger that I got from sticking in those bearings but um, so 20 pounds rotating mass is significant off the wheels um, and off the total weight of the bike. Uh, this bike came in stock. Harley says it weighs about 490 pounds. Well, if I drop 20 pounds off wheel weight, that's 470 plus by taking the, uh, the old exhaust, I'm running... Um, different exhaust on this, different carburetor brackets, I probably 4, 90, 80, 70, probably got it down to about 460 pounds. I weighed this one, this uh, uh, 98, and it was uh, 465, which is good, and I'm, I'm thinking this bike's about 90 horse with the wheels, and it's got the older style front end on it too, the 99 and before. So, uh, rotating mass, it really, in the wheels, really makes a difference in the cornering, um, handling. It's like a gyroscope when you're going down the road. If you, if, if you hold a gyro in your hand, it's hard to turn when it's rotating. And that's why Harleys go down the road so well, you can take your hands off the uh, handlebars and they'll just keep going straight down the road. Uh, because there's so much rotating mass and weight in the wheels, it just keeps you going straight right down the road. Um, so this bike, um, also I put a track swing arm on it that I'm working with, spacing it out right now and, and chain drive. Here's all the wheel spacers. I bought a set of wheel spacers that variety of lengths that I'm working with the distances. Trying to space it all out with this custom when you put the tracks uh, swing arm on there, it, 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 you have to change the, the rear caliper and have a hanger. Um, so I'm working with all that, trying to get it spaced out correctly. Um, and with that, uh, uh, with the track swing arm has a longer slot in it that allows you to increase the length of the axle uh, distance uh, from axle to axle about an inch you can go as far as two inches. I'm going about an inch and a half, inch and three quarters on this, but that causes a difficulty, uh, um, engineering difficulty in that I got to move the seat. Well, uh, there's going to be a space between the seat. I don't move the seat, but the fender has to be changed or moved back, or I've got to figure that all out with the tail light blinkers. I had this bike, a custom paint job. My friend uh, painted it. Uh, it says sports to racing on it. Guy Wearsing does the paint. Very nice painter here in Muskegon. Very talented. But um, so rotating wheel weight. Back to the um, topic of this video. Um, 
it, it's important to me. I, I, uh, I also did it on my 98 Sportster here, spokes. They're a little harder to take care of. You just have to stay after them. And I'm in the process of probably changing it out to my, uh, my uh, 2000 FXD. This is a cool bike. Um, this bike is 95 inch and I, last summer I ran consistent 11.6s with it at uh, mid-Michigan uh, drag strip. Um, this bike last year I ran an 11.4 with it when it was 88 inch. Um, this year my goal is to try to hit uh, tens with it, high tens. We'll see what happens. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. More videos to come. Thank you.